Gospel of July the 7th, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him, and touched the tassel on his cloak. He said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away, the girl is not dead but sleeping and they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose, and news of this spread throughout all that land. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Apostle Matthew presents to us Jesus, our Lord, as Lord of health and of life. We see how this official, the chief of the synagogue, comes forward to him, kneels down, worships him, recognizes him as Lord, and says, My daughter has just died. Come and lay your hand on her and she will live. This version of Matthew is different from the one from Luke. For Luke, it happened that he came when she was when the daughter was very ill and on the way to his house she died the end result is the same because nonetheless he had the faith on jesus enough faith to ask him to come to his house matthew wants to present the miracle in broad daylight without any doubts he for him the end result is that it's what's most important that Jesus gave the life back to this girl. Now, while they are walking to this officer's house, there is this intermezzo of a woman having hemorrhages for 12 years. She comes, she sneaks behind the Lord. Why does she do that? Because according to law, she was unclean and she could not touch anyone, much less a teacher or a master of the law, lest she would contaminate him, and she was risking to die stoned for trying to contaminate a master. So she sneaks behind, she touched the tassel of his cloak, but the Lord turns around and sees her, and he is not bothered. He's not upset. He encourages her. Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. He comforts her. He is not prideful. He is ready to do good, even to that who seemingly does not have the right to ask. He is for her too. He arrives at the house. He sees all the mourners making the commotion and he tells them go away the girl is just sleeping and they ridiculed him it is very important that the evangelist is saying these words they ridiculed him because certainly the mothers the girl's mothers might have touched her might have noticed that she was not breathing that she was getting colder she knew she was dead and that's why all the other people the flute players and all everyone else the wailing people was there but there also is the Lord of life and he quietly picks her by the hand and she wakes up again we are invited to follow the Christ he is our captain and the best of all captains he is the giver of health and of life.
and of life eternal, not only of this life, but of our eternal life. The Lord wants us to follow Him and to recognize Him, to have faith on Him, to put our troubles before Him and let Him heal us, to understand that by His timing and His will, there might be some of us that would die young, some of us that might have sufferings and illnesses, but everything will be for the glory of God. If we accept His will, if we are able to put our trust in Him and let ourselves be led by His loving hand, let us pray that we might have a recognition of the Lord's power and gifts in our lives, in our present lives, and through that fall in love ever and ever more with Him. God bless you all, brothers.